It's been almost three years since Jermaine Charlo went missing from Missoula. Earlier this week, we heard from the creator of Stolen, The Search for Jermaine. Today, MTN's Jordan Johnson spoke with Charlo's aunt about what she and the family hope will come from the podcast about her disappearance. Jermaine Charlo, a 23-year-old mother of two who police say was last seen in 2018 near the Badlander in downtown Missoula. Now, her story is being told in a podcast and is bringing to light new information about the case. Jermaine's aunt, Belinda Mergeau, says this is an important way of having the public become aware of what Indigenous women go through every day. And it's finally just coming to light and the world is finally starting to see like what Indian women have to face every single day. After Jermaine's disappearance, Indigenous women across the Flathead Reservation took to social media to say, If I go missing, I didn't do it willingly. I love my kids, I love my family, and I would never leave them willingly. That fear of being taken has been felt among Indigenous women, and Mergeau says she takes additional steps for not just her safety, but her daughters. I'm very cautious about my surroundings. You know, I. I've instilled that in my daughter that, you know, just be aware of your surroundings, be aware of like who's around you, what's going on. But the missing and murdered indigenous women crisis is not a new occurrence. Even in the modern time, you know, we're still facing something so horrendous that, you know, we have to live in fear of walking somewhere by ourselves. But with this podcast focusing on Jermaine's disappearance, Mergeau says she hopes the extra exposure will bring justice to her niece's case. The more people who are aware of it, you know, wherever she is, you always hope that somebody can identify her and, you know, that we can bring her home. Stolen, The Search for Jermaine has four episodes out on Spotify. In St. Ignatius, Jordan Johnson, MTN News. This June will mark three years since Jermaine went missing. Last week, Detective Guy Baker told MTN News tips are still rolling in on the case.